Hi, my name is Vivian Savile. I'm a naturopathic nurse and I'd like to share with you today some information about yeast candida overgrowth. Um, you'll also find more information in my book, How to Beat Candida and Thrush Naturally, that you can find at www.recipetohealth.com. So, yeast candida overgrowth symptoms and treatments. Candida yeast overgrowth is responsible for what is commonly known as candida and thrush. Thrush occurs um, in some people, particularly in females, the elderly and debilitated, but not in everyone with candida. The most common type of yeast overgrowth is candida albicans, um, although there are numerous other strains of candida as well. So candida yeast naturally occurs in the digestive system but it's under conditions when the immune system is somewhat depressed that um, an overgrowth can occur and the result is that it spills over into the bloodstream and other health problems start to occur as a result of that and um, you start to experience symptoms. So usually occurring in females in their reproductive years and in fact most females during this time will experience at least one episode. The most obvious sign of candida is vaginitis, commonly known as thrush. Recurrent urinary tract infections can be another sign. For some people the candida can be an ongoing problem um, and can be quite persistent um, and certainly requires adherence to diet and taking lots of antifungals etc. And the condition can occur in both males and females. Factors that increase the risk of candida yeast infection are broad spectrum antibiotics, poor diet, stress, pregnancy, humid climates, endocrine conditions such as diabetes, immune deficiencies such as HIV and hospitalisation. Candida symptoms. There are multiple candida symptoms which can occur all over the body. These symptoms are often quite vague so are often put down to other causes. Types of candida yeast overgrowth. It can cause gut dysbiosis, vaginal thrush, oral thrush, skin intertrigo candida, systemic candidiasis, um, candida in the neonates and there are also other less known types of candida. Um, vaginitis or thrush is um, often the most common type, um, especially in females, this is when they initially discover that they do have candida. Um, but there are other types of vaginitis as well, so you need a proper diagnosis. So the vaginitis due to candida usually has a smelly yeast type of odour. It's described as thick, white and cottage cheese-like, usually causing itching and burning in the genital area. Skin intertrigo occurs mainly in skin folds of the people who are obese. Um, under breasts, under the stomach roll and also if you have diabetes you're much more likely to have this problem. Um, you need more than a cream to treat this because that's only patching up the symptom. You really need to go through the whole anti-candida diet program to get rid of this problem. Factors that increase the risk of oral thrush, so a dry mouth, um, due to medications such as antihistamines and diuretic, use of inhaled corticosteroids such as in asthma, um, if you have dentures, if you're a smoker, trauma to the mouth, nutrient deficiencies such as iron, zinc and vitamin Bs, serious cancers and chemotherapy, um, immune suppressed conditions and also it's often found in infants and the elderly. So in my book, How to Beat Candida and Thrush Naturally, you're going to find lots of information about candida. You're going to learn about the over 40 symptoms of candida, which herbs kill off the yeast, which nutrient deficiencies contribute and make you more prone to the problem in the first place, the many different types of candida, what tests you can um, purchase and do yourself, um, and what other um, pathology tests can be organised for a diagnosis, what antifungals actually work. You're also going to find in this book an anti-candida diet um, with the aim of this is basically to take away the fuel that feeds the yeast so subsequently weakening it. Um, you're going to find 120 recipes in here and an eating program. Um, and um, 
yeah, a whole treatment program, so recommendations for the different herbs and nutrients that are needed to um, kill off the abnormal yeast overgrowth. So thank you for um, listening today. I do hope you've um, learnt a little bit here. And if you'd like to know more, please um, just have a look on this page um, at www.recipetohealth.com.au backslash how to beat candida and thrush naturally. Thank you.